Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of Viper's advanced provisioning and protection capabilities, specifically utilizing VMAX's SRDF remote replication feature. As of Viper 1.1, a customer can leverage SRDF configurations to automatically protect their volumes to a remote data center. To show this feature, we've modeled a local and remote data center. SRDF can protect the source data center on the left, Boston, to the remote data center on the right, New York. Viper will automate the volume creations, zoning and masking those volumes to the application server, and initiate and monitor the SRDF connections. We'll show you the VMAX Element Manager along the way to describe the process. But first, let's configure Viper to enable it to provide automated SRDF protection. The first thing we'll do is we'll log in as the EMC World user. This is an account that has administrative privileges and has the right to be able to see the physical assets that are under the management of Viper. So we'll take advantage of this mode by looking at the administrative role. First we'll take a look at the host that we have available to us. In our production environment we have the Oracle server and in our DR environment we have an Oracle DR server. The storage systems that are under Viper's management are VMAX 573, which is in the Boston environment, and VMAX 505, which is in the New York environment. And finally, for the purposes of this demonstration, we have one network manager. As described earlier, we have two virtual arrays, one representing the data center in Boston and one representing the data center in New York. And as you can see here, Viper is aware that those two sites can protect via SRDF to each other. Looking in Unisphere for VMAX, we have the local array 573 and the remote array 505 being managed by the same Unisphere. Now we need to define virtual pools. The first virtual pool that we're going to define is the DR pool. This is the pool that's going to represent the storage that will be used for DR target storage for SRDF. The virtual array that we're going to select is the target virtual array, New York. We're going to tie down this virtual pool to only use VMAX storage. And to show that Viper allows for manual selection of physical storage pools, we're going to manually select a few of the storage pools associated with the remote array. Now we can create our source virtual pool. We'll call it Block with Protection. Now this is the pool that storage will be provisioned out of. We'll select Boston as the source virtual array because New York is going to be our destination. We'll tie it down as well to the VMAX storage system type. And we'll open up the data protection tab and we'll specify that we want to use SRDF protection to virtual array New York using the DR virtual pool that we just created. An SRDF configuration is as easy as that. We'll leave the storage pool selection automatic. As you can see, all the storage pools that Viper notices are all on 573, which is already our source array. Now that we have our block virtual pools defined, we need only to create a project by which we can add our volumes. So we'll create a project called Oracle DB. In Viper 2.0, we map the name of the project to the RDF group that's on the VMAX. And we'll take a look at that now. We'll take a look now at the Unisphere UI, and specifically at the RDF groups that are pre-created. Here is the Oracle DB RDF group that's created already. It's empty. As you can see, there are zero volumes. As part of this process, we will see that the volumes that we create will be added to this RDF group and synchronized automatically. Okay, heading back to the Viper UI, now we're going to create a couple of volumes. 
and add them to our Oracle database server. The first volume that we're going to create is going to be an Oracle database volume of size 50 gig. We select our Oracle server, this will be our production server, the virtual array of Boston, the virtual pool that has protection associated with it. We give the new volume a name, Oracle DB50 in this case. We'll be able to verify in the Unisphere GUI later that it created a volume with that label. And then finally the size of 50 gigabytes. Now Viper is orchestrating all the steps in the background, it's creating the volumes, creating the SRDF connection, and then exporting the volumes to our Oracle server. We'll fast forward these steps a little bit so that we don't have to wait. All right, we fast forwarded a bit. It took five minutes for us to create the volumes on the local and remote, create the SRDF connection to protect them using the RDF group, and export that volume to the Oracle server. And to show that Viper can leverage the existing RDF groups to create more volumes and to be able to protect them together, we'll create another Oracle volume called Oracle Logs and add that to the same Oracle server. And just to give it a different size, we'll give it 100 gigabytes. And again, we'll fast forward the process here as well. Okay, it took a bit less time because we already had zones and masks associated with the VMAX and the host. Now when we look over at our Unisphere GUI for VMAX, we can hit the refresh button and we should see two related objects for the two volumes that we had created. And if we click on those, we'll see our Oracle DB volume and our Oracle Logs volume in that RDF group. And that's it for the volume provisioning process. We have some additional capabilities in Viper to assist you in the case of a failover. Taking a look at the failover block volume uh, service that we have in our service catalog, you're able to select a volume that you wish to fail over. And we'll do that here. When the failover is complete, we have the option of going back to the service catalog and mounting that volume to our DR server. So using the export volume to a host catalog entry, we can select the Oracle DR server, and we can select the volumes that have been failed over and expose them to that host. And now our DR volumes are now exposed to our Oracle DR server. This concludes our demonstration of SRDF capability within Viper. Thank you very much for watching.